check out this mobile command center that we built for the Brookings South Dakota Police Department. So this is a new product that we've just finished building. Just got it wrapped by our friends at Octane Inc. in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, this wrap turned out amazing. It's a matte black wrap with the Brookings Police Department logo. But this is a mobile command center. So Brookings Police Department came to us and said, hey, we got an issue. We need you to solve it and help us out. Uh, so this is a fully custom uh, built to their spec mobile command center. So we're just gonna walk through um, some of the features on the exterior. It still has a lot of the same things that a lot of our Team Lodge toy hauler units have. Propane fired furnace. Um, so this has enough enough propane on board to keep them warm in any situation. Uh, the exterior again is a matte black um, wrap with some, some overlays of their logos and we can do that on any trailer uh, out there. We work with uh, our friends at Octane Inc. This one has a data port so in the event that these guys are using this on a, uh, an emergency situation as a mobile command post, they're going to utilize the awning and fold the awning out and this is where they'll have their press briefing. So a TV mount on the exterior of the trailer that they can hook up, run their HDMI and their power up to that. All weatherproof. This is on one of our Team Lodge uh, eight and a half by 20 foot frames. Uh, this is a lift and lower hydraulic system as well. So obviously they can set the trailer on the ground in a long-term situation or short-term if they want it. Um, and it's a very sturdy unit. There's a bunch of exterior LED lighting, again, just to light it up. They're gonna add some things, some strobe lights, some cameras. Um, they're gonna outfit it with all the, the data things uh, when it's delivered. Let's take a look inside. So one of the things that our crew at the shop did uh, in appreciation for the blue is the guys at the shop, uh, they had this paid, paid for by themselves and, and installed a Back the Blue logo. So. Uh, we're very happy to work with uh, local police departments and emergency service, fire, uh, EMS. So in the interior, it's, we left it open because they're going to put their, uh, their players side by side in this unit. They're going to leave it in here again for mobile uh, command situations. They're going to use this uh, to get that unit around um, if needed on a, a fire and emergency. Just a little bit of storage, some seating in case of a press briefing or a briefing for their staff. Uh, again, we have data, power, um, all throughout this trailer. We have an AC in this unit as well as one in the front mobile command center area. Uh, again, data, power, um, TV mount to mount the TV that's on the exterior, bring it in here and store it and use it in this situation. And then data, so we have Cat5 running throughout the trailer as well uh, for their communications. We also added a 300 watt solar system to this unit. Uh, along with the roof rack. So um, if they're on a, uh, in an area that they don't have power, they still have access to the lighting and some of the outlets. We'll go into the mobile command center area here. So again, up in the mobile command center, we have all of our data and Cat5 up in this cabinet up top. AC in this area, uh, just to keep it nice and cool, climate controlled. So in this, we made uh, provisions um, to put many different monitors and TVs in here. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six areas for monitors or TVs in here. Again, this is where uh, the main communication is gonna happen in this unit. And again, the police department is gonna outfit this with all their data needs. So just another overview of a custom built unit, a customer spec'd out unit that we built for the Brookings Police Department.